everybody welcome back i hope you're doing really well um just a quick one gone for a very wet hair look today because basically we need to do a hair mask so i thought you know two birds one stone we're making it cool so that's it before we get into any makeup um for today's video i am working with skillshare with skillshare quite a few times before on my channel i absolutely adore them and i just love the whole idea of their brand if you don't know already skillshare are an online learning community for creatives they have hundreds and hundreds of different courses ranging from fine art to illustration to photography um, I will leave a little clip on here of a couple of the courses that I've been liking at the moment and just so you can see how the website works. And one course in particular recently that I absolutely adore is the Fun With Figures by Charlie Clements course. I'll leave like a little video of it on here just so you can see how beautiful her work is. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, she uses Procreate to create them as well, which is what I use to create my tattoo designs. I just find it really interesting to see how somebody else uses an app because I use that app every single day when I'm at work, but there's still so many things that I don't necessarily use on there and it's just really good to see a fresh perspective from somebody else's view. Skillshare have also very kindly given me a link that I will leave in the description down below where the first 1,000 people to click that will get a free premium membership. After that, it's only around $10 a month, which is under £10. I just think now is the perfect time while we're all stuck at home, if there's something that you've always really wanted to do but you've never really had the time to do it, now is the perfect time. So I'm all for people being creative, especially during lockdown. I know for me, it's always an absolute saviour being able to create things. Yeah, if you are interested in that, the link will be left in my description down below massive thank you to skillshare for working me on today's video i absolutely love you guys um and yeah let's get on with some makeup so so recently the beautiful halsey launched her own makeup brand about face beauty and um, as soon as i saw it i was like oh my god that is so my makeup style i absolutely died very undone very playful very out there sort of a lot of bold colors just absolutely gorgeous. It very kindly messaged me on Instagram and asked me if I wanted to try any of their products and of course I did. So yeah I've got a couple of their products that I'm going to try out today and show you guys what I think. So it's actually my first time kind of properly using the products. I've had like a little play with them but I haven't done like a full face with them so I'm really excited. Focus for the look today is going to be more on the eyes and lips. I want to do a kind of monochromatic sort of matching eye and lip with one of the fluid eye paints. They are just beautiful. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to zoom you in and get started on my skin. This bit of hair is just really not vibes. So I'm going to start by priming my skin. This is the XX Revolution Bright Light Primer. Um, I haven't actually used this yet, but I'm very intrigued by it. So I'm just going to apply that all over my skin. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> is that going to go? Also, please tell me if the lighting is better in this video. I've had so many problems with my bloody camera lately. Those things, like when the lighting starts going weird, it could be your camera, it could be your lighting, it could be so many things. Um, but I think it was my camera, it was being so weird last week and I was really worried that it was broken. But I think I fixed it, so please, please let me know if the lighting is better because I had absolute mares with it last week. Every time I filmed, it was either really, really dark and everything just looked really like oversaturated and horrible or it was really light and washing everything out. So yeah, hopefully this is better. Um, if not, I cry. There we go, primer's all done. That's really nice actually, very, very glowy and dewy. Um, I've got quite a few breakouts going on today, but we're only human, who gives a shit? For foundation, I'm gonna be using the KVD Good Apple Foundation Bar. I'm gonna use the number 10 foundation brush to apply that to my skin. Obviously I used this in my last makeup video. Um, and also a lot of you were messaging me and commenting saying that you'd send me on their website and on the ads, um, as well as the Boots website and a couple of their adverts. Um, the KVD have completely rebranded and I believe like the first campaign for this foundation featured all tattoo artists who also do makeup, including myself. Yeah, that was really cool. I was really, really happy to be a part of that and that was amazing. I've seen a lot of raving about this foundation this week and rightly so, it is absolutely beautiful. Please ignore my little wet fringe. Very, um, it's very Johnny Depp gorge. Yeah, I'm using the shade medium 027 in this foundation and it is beautiful. The hair in my mouth is kind of gross. Ugh. Yeah it's good that today I've got a couple more breakouts just so you can see how good the coverage is on this. Um, yeah this is like my go-to foundation especially when my skin needs a little bit more assistance. Okay, foundation is all done. Um, for concealer today, I'm gonna use the NARS Soft Matte in the shade Medium One Custard. I'm gonna pat that underneath my eyes. Use that foundation underneath my eyes. I don't really feel like I need that much concealer. Um, the coverage is already 
pretty nice. I'm just using this to sort of brighten up a little bit more than anything. Sometimes I think, wow, should I buy a hundred of this concealer? Just in case they ever discontinue it. Moving on to bronzer, I'm gonna use the Body Shop Drops of Sun. I used this in a recent makeup video and I've actually been doing it every single day. Um, I'm gonna buy a new one of this because this is like really old. I said probably shouldn't be anywhere near anyone's face old, but what have I got to lose? Um, and I'm just gonna... And I used the Spectrum Katie Jane Hughes brush in number four for that. Um, I'm going to leave the bronzer like that. I don't want to go like too heavy with it. I want to keep the skin quite fresh. Moving on to blush, this is another new product which I'm absolutely obsessed with. This is the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek Stick. This is the colour Perk. Um, it's like a really beautiful sort of grapefruity colour. These literally smell amazing as well. They smell like really fresh and citrusy. Um, and I'm just going to use a Fenty foundation brush and pat that onto my cheeks. This is like the most beautiful cream blush colour ever. Been wearing this like every day at the moment. What I love about this is it's very sheer and you get that really beautiful glow with it, but it's also very buildable. It's a really subtle, sort of fresh bit of colour. Pop some freckles on using the Lottie London Freckle Tint. Now for highlight, I've got two of the About Face highlights. The packaging of this is just beautiful as well. It's all this really nice purple, sort of very glassy chrome look. A liquid highlight in a sort of pipette bottle, um, very sort of champagne-y colour. Made shaken or stirred. This is like a really nice goldy one. I also have a smaller one. This is the Light Lock Stick, this in the colour Greek Tragedy. Quite similar colour, like a really beautiful goldy champagne, but in a stick version. Um, I tend to prefer these to a liquid highlight. I see liquid highlights are really good if you want that really, really blinding glow. Um, but I think this is going to be a little bit more subtle. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is just take a bit on my finger. Ooh, it feels very creamy. It's really nice. I'm just going to pat it onto the high points of my face. <gasps> Pretty sure I've just highlighted that massive spot, but he deserves to shine. Like exactly what I wanted this product to be like. Um, it's like a really subtle sort of glow that just catches the light really nicely as you move. That's absolutely beautiful. That's like the tiniest little bit and it's just given my skin like this really beautiful glassy sort of glow. I also have one of the powder highlights to use. Um, the packaging of this is so beautiful. Um, but I don't think I'm actually going to use it. I think my skin looks really nice and fresh as it is. Um, but I just want to show you this because it's really cool. Um, so this is the Light Look Powder in the shade This Bliss almost looks kind of white it's kind of more like a duochrome reflex to see on my hand it just it's a powder but it creates that really wet look glow on the skin um so yeah that is beautiful but i'm not going to use it just because i think my skin looks nice and fresh as it is it for the skin so i'm going to zoom you in and we're going to get on with the eyes this is the really really fun part so for eyes today um i'm going to be using the fluid eye paint this is the shade cloned i also really love the packaging of this um i've got it really dirty as well i just don't deserve nice things it's like a beautiful, warm toned, browny, almost sort of like maroony, ready. It's like one of those really cool colours that looks very different. I'm going to use this for my eyes and my lips today. Um, what I'm going to do is take a bit on the back of my hand just so I can use it as a kind of paint out of there. But you definitely can just swipe them straight on and blend them out with your finger. Uh, I want to do some kind of graphic y sort of liner kind of thing, but I'm not 100% sure what. We're just gonna have to see where this takes us. I'm gonna use the number 24 brush from the Spectrum Katie Jane Hughes range, thin brush, perfect for like really detailed liner. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna take a bit of that on the brush. Start by doing a wing and then we're just gonna see what happens, I guess, that's probably the best option. See the pigment in these is just beautiful. Um, they're not too thick, but they're not too watery either, so they're just a really nice consistency. I'm going to take the line along here just above my crease. And I'm going to take a little bit on the inner corner as well, just to create a kind of funky thing. Oh, there we go. I've just done quite like a graphic bold liner, just so you can really see 
the colour. Um, I'm just going to do the same on the other eye and then I'll be back. Liner is all done. I absolutely love that. That literally glides on like a dream. For pigmented as well, I really want to try one of the coloured ones now. Okay, I'm just going to pop some mascara and lashes on. So for mascara, I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. The brush is really beautiful. It's a really big, fluffy one. So I absolutely love this. Then I'm going to pop some little corner lashes on. These are the ones that I used in my last video. I use that same mascara on my bottom lashes as well. There we go. Eyes are all done. Just like a really bold graphic liner. Absolutely love that product I feel like it just glides on really nicely the pigment is really good and they're very easy to use as we're all done so I'm just gonna finish off this bit of hair is driving me insane I'm gonna finish off by doing my lips um, I'm gonna use that same fluid eye paint I'm pretty sure you can use them for kind of anything They're just to create like a really monochromatic quite like an editorial sort of look um, so first thing I'm gonna do is line my lips this is the KKW lip liner in the nude 2 quite similar to that colour, so I'm just going to line them first. I kind of love it like this, just with the brown outline, but I am going to use it just so you can see it all together. And um, then yeah, just taking that same colour, and I'm just going to go straight off the brush this time, I'm going to apply that all over my lips. feels really nice on the lips actually, it feels really lightweight, it doesn't feel heavy or really dry on them at all. I'm just going to set everything in place with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. It stays nice and put while I get back in bed and watch Netflix all day. So that is the finished look. There we go, that is the finished look for today's video. I absolutely love the way that this turned out. I really enjoy doing a kind of matching eye and lip. I think it just always looks really cool and very effortless. Um, this is giving me very like sort of runway vibes, like the wet hair, the graphic liner, monochromatic, you know, the full, full shebang. Absolutely love those products. They are beautiful. If you can get your hands on any of the about face stuff, definitely do, it is gorgeous. That is the finished look, I hope you enjoyed this. As always, all the products that I have mentioned and used in today's video will be linked in the description box down below, as well as the link for the Skillshare Premium Membership. Um, as I said, the first 1,000 people to click on that will be offered a free membership, which is amazing. So yeah, massive thank you to Skillshare for working with me on today's video, and thank you so much for watching this, and I will see you all very soon. Love you.